How's it going, guys? Superhero ideal here again. Been a while since I dropped the video on you guys, so just wanted to go and do one. A little more uh, stable situation right now. I'm finding myself a lot more free time, and I can actually do more videos hopefully here and get these out to you a lot quicker than before. And today I just wanted to do one on steel wool. We all know about steel wool and the 9 volt battery for fire starting. Uh, for the longest time, I really didn't use this or even consider it really. It wasn't an option to me. It was just kind of a gimmicky thing as most people would say it is. But this is actually a very reliable means of fire starting. And the pad that I have here is, uh, I believe, extra fine. Yeah, it's extra fine. Often referred to as quadruple zero grade steel wool. I don't know how well you can see, but these are like fibers of steel wool. Not like your pot scrubbers that are much thicker and bulkier. Those really don't work so well. And you want to stay away from the kind that have the chemicals in it, all the detergents and the cleaners in there. Those really just don't work too well. And you got to be careful when using this. Just try not to inhale any of the actual fumes directly from that. Uh, a little bit's not going to do too much, but you can tell a slight degree of irritation if you do inhale a, a decent amount of that. So please do be careful if you're using this. But as I said, it's been dismissed as kind of gimmicky in the past. Uh, I do like it. I did a lot more work with it. I'm going to show you here. I uh, got a little cotton here for tender. Um, everything rained here, or rained in my area, I should say, past couple of days, so everything's still kind of damp. So I'll just use the cotton for demonstration purposes. I'm just going to take some steel wool here, take a chunk there, about like, come loose. So, work that out. You want it to be able to breathe, but still be compact enough. The way that the quote unquote embers transfer on this. It needs to be relatively tight but still well enough to breathe well. So go ahead and take the 9 volt battery and just go ahead and give it a couple of pats like that. Try to get it well. There we go. Fan it a little bit. It works well. And oh, there you go. It started to flame pretty easily there. And if you notice, I put my left hand right here. Go ahead and get this out of the way. Snuff it out put my left hand over here to show you that this is a one-handed fire starting option in case you are injured put that into the fire pit and it works well even if it is submerged go ahead and drop the 9 volt battery into some water there take off another pad of steel wool go ahead and shake off the excess and touch it to the steel wool and you see it takes well even though it was just submerged so I'll check you into the pit now, just because everybody knows about the 9-volt battery and steel wool doesn't mean that's the only option to get it going. It's going to take flame incredibly well as well. Go ahead and take another pat there, work it out. And as I showed you with the 9-volt battery, you know, that's a one-handed fire starting option. So is the lighter, but if this gets wet, you're going to have to wait till this dries out before it's usable again. So, get some more cotton and let you see how well it takes. Just like that. Fan it up a bit, put it on the cotton, and oh, just, well, there we go. Thought it blew my flame out, but it takes as well with a cigarette lighter, no problem whatsoever. Uh, you know, if it takes a flame that easily, it's going to take a spark that easily as well. More steel wool and more cotton. take just a basic fire seal here. I believe this is actually a light my fire. Oh, stuck to me a bit. No biggie. Put on you. And there you go. With the fire seal, it worked just as easily. No problem whatsoever. Snuff you out and into the pit with you. Now, the reason that I'm doing this video is, like I said before, a lot of people dismiss this as a gimmicky thing. Uh, you have to have the right circumstances to actually have a 9 volt battery and this fine grade steel wool to actually start a fire. But as I showed you, that a lighter and a fire steel are also viable means of an ignition source to get this going. Now, the reason to carry steel wool with you for fire starting is obviously shown there with multiple ignition sources is that it's very cheap, it's very light, and it's very compact. This is a Pro Force match vial. This is a very common uh, brand of storm matches. And in, in here, I've actually stuffed two full pads of steel wool. 
just compacted it down and that's two full pads and it's not much larger than the 9 volt battery itself you know this weighs maybe an ounce with the steel wool and the cap all together there and each pad of steel wool with practice even if you're just starting out and you see this video and you think well this is actually a really good idea something to consider and carry with you each one of these when you start out with a little bit of experience you'll probably get about 15 fires going from just one pad of steel wool uh, with a little more practice you can push that up to 25 easily just getting that much more familiar with it and working with these techniques um, it's definitely something to consider especially with all the commercial tenders out there like tender quick or wet fire that run you know I believe wet fire tablets are two bucks for a 10 pack uh, wet fire tabs are you know pretty much a dollar a piece they come in packs of eight they run about eight dollars a pack so you know this got a 12 pack I actually got this at Harbor Freight for about this was actually two dollars and this is May 2011 price so each one of these would say an average of 20 fires per pad you know I'm carrying two that's about 20 40 fires and you're able to get 12 for two dollars so that's do the math that's 240 fires for two dollars uh, definitely something to consider you know and also the other general uses of steel wool reasons to carry uh, cleaning your pots your pans when you camp backpack survival situations whatever it may be and also for removing uh, rust from various tools you have so steel wool is multifunctional as you've seen with fire starting and as I said removing rust from your gear and general cleaning purposes uh, definitely something to consider uh, steel wool like I said had the I had a falling out with it for the longest time. I thought this was actually just kind of a goofy kind of idea and it was really just one of those things that was very circumstantial but something definitely to consider guys. Uh, hopefully this breathes a little more light to the situation for you and opens your minds to using steel wool for various survival kits or outdoors gear. So this is Superhero Ideal. Uh, it's good to be back and uh, please guys take it easy. Thank you.